Hey there folks, what's going on? It's Kodiak here. And today I'm bringing you a quick video. This is a high, mid to high tier video for Last Oasis. This is how to make ceramic the most efficient way we have found in the game. And the first question you may be asking yourself, why should you care about ceramics? Well, ceramics are used in advanced tools and gear, that mid to high level of uh, crafting. You're gonna need ceramic for all of that stuff, including those T3 Walker upgrades. A really big important part of those T3 upgrades is ceramic. And the only other way to farm that ceramic is by killing yellow Rupu on the hard map. So if you're struggling to kill those Rupu or you want a more efficient way to do that, we're here to show you exactly how to do it. Now the benefits to this method are very simple. It can be done semi-autonomously, which means you don't need to be babysitting it 100%. You can do other things independently to get this done while the crafting is occurring. Um, it can be done on any ship that has the deck space for furnace. In the example I'm showing you, we're doing it on our Tusker. We've got a lot of these furnaces churning out ceramic. You can do this on your toboggan or your stiletto. You can do this on the low tier walkers, but it's more efficient the bigger the walker, the more furnaces you have. The more furnaces you place, the larger the output, but it's all dependent on your clay and fuel supply. The more clay you have coming in, the more you can use this method. So. First question, what do you need to have unlocked to be the most efficient? And the most efficient way to do this is by having liquid fuel unlocked. Now, I do not have liquid fuel unlocked. Somebody in our clan does, but this is the best method for doing this ceramic output method. So liquid fuel, it's six tablets. It seems like a lot, but honestly, it's the only thing you need in this tree, right? Liquid fuel right before that is purification station, which is 35 frags. And of course, purified water, which we get right in the beginning. The other thing that of course you need is the furnace, which is over here, I believe, up here, which is three tablets. So we're talking about um, nine tablets, which is not that bad, right? Six plus three equals nine. Not a huge deal trying to get nine tablets. Now, if you do need somebody to get tablets from, um, you may work with the clans on your server or you may just farm up the fragments yourself, turn them into tablets, but nine tablets total to do this method. And then of course, you're gonna need that one for clay. Now this can be done through your clan. Somebody in your clan may have clay. Somebody um, in your clan may be already doing this, but if you need to do it yourself, you'll need the clay. And of course, you'll also need the soil extractor, which you have before that if you need to get the clay. So once you do that, you're ready to talk about actually how to do this. So as you can see, we have got five furnaces on deck here, right? Two up top, three on the bottom. So I'm gonna go over to this furnace here and I'm gonna put exactly 26 liquid fuel into the fuel slot here. This is the exact number that you need for an entire cycle of uh, ceramic output. Now you always wanna make sure both your fuel and your input are all set before you hit that on button. Once we hit the on button, we're good to go and we're gonna start producing ceramics, but we have to do something first. As you can see here, our Tusker is kind of in a, a wooden like holding area. And the reason for that is because we need to hop on the sticks and put this thing into auto run mode. Now by putting it into auto run, what we're doing is basically confusing the game and, and tricking it into thinking that we are moving and that's what requires these furnaces to operate at peak efficiency. By moving your walker, you're basically allowing the furnaces to operate at maximum efficiency. That is so important, guys, because if you're doing this method out in the wild or out in you know the desert, you're gonna need to keep moving your walker around the desert. And let me tell you, this takes a hot minute. So now that we're moving, check this out. We're gonna hit that on button and boom, we're gonna start our production. So we're using all 26 of these fuel, which is the exact number you need, and we're burning through all this clay. Now this red button here, this red circular um, graph or bar, whatever you wanna call it, whenever it gets through a complete cycle, that's gonna get rid of one liquid fuel. This blue one is what we care about. When it gets to this yellow line, this is when it's going to start producing ceramic. But because we know that we only need 26 liquid fuel, we can walk away from this. So we've got all these other ones loaded up. We're gonna hit on. And we are now going to be producing all of the ceramic we need to operate our base. So the key here, guys, is that the captain of the ship does have to stay on deck during this process, which was why it's a semi-autonomous 
process, not a fully autonomous one. If you if the captain jumps off this ship, the Tusker in this case will stop moving forward and these will stop working at peak efficiency, which is that 26 liquid fuel. Now, just a quick note here, the Rupu gel is actually more efficient than the liquid fuel, but because it's so hard to farm because of all the, the Rupu camps that you'll have to kill and go farming all the totems and whatnot, this is actually a way better method. To create liquid fuel, you need animal fat and sulfur, which is just a much easier thing for most people to gather. We have a large store of sulfur and animal fat is relatively easy to get as well. So I'm gonna kind of sit here for a hot minute while this is going down, this goes down incredibly slow, even using this method. So I'm gonna just jump ahead kind of to the output of this entire system. What you're gonna get is you're gonna end up with a huge sum of shards. Now you're not always gonna get 100, you're gonna get some combination of 80 and 20, or 75 and 25, something like that. You're not always gonna get a uh, 100 ceramic. You're gonna get some combination of ceramic shards and ash. It seems to be an 80-20 ratio. We're not 100% sure if there's a set number, but that seems to be where we land. 80 ceramic for 100 clay is a really good deal. And now that you know this method, you know exactly how to get it with no problems whatsoever. So we're churning out about 400 ceramic every 10 minutes. That's a pretty good deal, man. That's a pretty good deal. Going to allow us to build a ton of tools. And again, you can think of this as a farming grinding method to getting those ceramic upgrades, those ceramic tools that you need to reach that high and mid tier before iron gear. So if you guys do have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you want to reach out to us directly, you can join us on Discord. That link is in the description below as well. And if you want to join the Legion Gaming Clan, you're welcome to do so. Hit us up on Discord and of course, like and subscribe for more Last Oasis videos in your feed. My name is Kodiak and from everyone here at Legion Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.